So do you also use cognitive forms to receive form submissions for your business? Then this video is definitely for you. Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to understand how to create subscriber in Pabli email marketing on cognitive form submission. So I'm an owner of a digital marketing agency and I have created an inquiry form using cognitive forms. So now here my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a new form submission through cognitive forms, then automatically that client should be added as a new subscriber in my Pabli email email marketing tool. So now here to automate the entire process, I need to connect my cognitive forms with my Pabli email marketing tool using an automation software named as Pabli Connect. So to learn this process step by step and see the working of this automation, let me take you to my screen. Welcome to my screen. So I run a digital marketing agency and I use cognitive forms to collect inquiries from businesses interested in our services. So now when someone fills out the form, I want to add them to my email list automatically. So by creating a subscriber in Pabli email marketing for each cognitive form submission, I can save time and ensure no potential client is missed. This let me send them welcome emails, case studies, service updates or special offers immediately. It helps me keep potential clients engaged, nurture relationships and increase the chances of converting inquiries into paying customers. So now here my objective is that whenever someone is going to fake a form submission through my cognitive form then automatically the person who has made the submission should be added as a subscriber in my Pabli email marketing tool. So here I've already built an automation where I've connected my cognitive form with my Pabli email marketing tool using an automation software. So now here firstly in this video we are going to see the working of this amazing automation that I've already built by simply making a form submission over here. So here you can see the form that I've already pre-filled with the details, name, email, address, phone number and the services interested in. So now here as soon as I'm going to click on the submit option given over here, then automatically a new subscriber should be created in my Pabli email marketing tool. So now let's test it. And here you can see it says thank you for filling out the form. Your response has been recorded. That means here we have successfully made a form submission. So now let's go and check our Pabli email marketing tool. Here I'm going to refresh it. And here you can see we have successfully created a new subscriber with the email as demo user at the rate publitudes.com and the name as demo user. So with this, we have successfully seen the working of this amazing automation. And now here in this video, we are going to learn step by step that how you can create this amazing automation by simply connecting your cognitive forms with Pabli email marketing tool using an automation software named as Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software and it connects all your favorite apps and makes them work together seamlessly. You can set it up to do things automatically like updating customer info across platforms or sending notifications when something important happens. It's really easy to use and saves you tons of time that you can spend on more important stuff. So here on my screen you can see Pabli Connect's homepage and you can visit it by simply browsing for the URL pabli.com slash connect. Here you can see two options that are sign in and sign up free. If you're a new user, click on sign up free and get 300 tasks every month to explore the software. And if an existing user, click on sign in. Here I'm an existing user, so I'm clicking on sign in. Now after signing in, here you can see all Pabli apps window, here you can see all the applications of Pabli. Here to integrate my applications, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. Now this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and here to build my connection I need to create a workflow first. So for that here I'm going to click on this create workflow button given on the top right corner. Now here in this create workflow dialog box I have to give a name to my workflow. So here I'm going to give the name as create subscriber in Pabli email marketing on cognitive form submission. And now here after giving the name here it is asking me to select the folder. So here in the left side corner of this dashboard you can see a folder section under which you can see all the folders that I've created with different names to save my workflows accordingly. And now here in this particular case, I'm going to select my folder as automations. You can select the folder as per your need. Also, you can create multiple folders to save your workflows accordingly. And now here to learn how to create a new folder inside Pabli Connect, you have to click on this learn more hyperlink given over here. And by clicking on this, it will take you to a forum window where you can see all the instructions to how to create a new folder inside Pabli Connect. So now moving back to my Pabli's dashboard and here to create a new workflow I'm going to click on this create button given over here. 
Now here in this workflow window, you can see we have successfully created a workflow. And here on my screen, you can see the two most important principles of an automation process that are trigger and action. Where trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means action is a response towards a trigger. Your automation can have a single trigger but multiple action steps. Now let's begin with our automation by simply setting up a trigger. So here I'm going to select my trigger application as cognitive forms as I'm receiving new forms I'm through cognitive forms. So cognitive forms is an easy to use online form builder that lets you create forms for surveys, registrations, payments and more. It's popular because it offers customizable templates and powerful features like calculation, conditional logic and payment collection all without needing coding skills. So here in my cognitive forms trigger step, I'm going to select my trigger event as new entry. So that whenever we're going to receive new entry through our cognitive forms, then automatically Pabli Connect is going to capture the response. Or you can say automatically this entire workflow is going to get triggered. And now here after selecting my trigger event, you can see I've received a webhook URL. That means here I'm going to use this webhook URL to connect my cognitive forms with Pabli Connect. So here following the instructions given below, firstly I'm going to copy this webhook URL and here I've already logged in my cognitive forms account. So this is my cognitive forms account and here under all forms you can see all the forms which I've created using cognitive forms. So now here in this particular case I'm going to use my form which is named as client service inquiry form. So here under this form, I'm going to click on this post JSON data to a website given in the left side bar. And here under post JSON data to a website, you can see we have received a submit entry endpoint. So here in this particular field, I need to enter the webhook URL that I've received in my Pabli's workflow. So here I'm going to remove this previously existing webhook URL and here I'm going to enter the new webhook URL. And now here after entering the new webhook URL, I'm going to click on the save. And then I'm going to click on this publish. And here you can see we have received a shareable link for the forms. So here I'm going to directly click on it. And with this we have successfully set up a webhook inside our cognitive forms. Or you can say we have successfully connected our cognitive forms with Pabli Connect. And now here you can see as it is waiting for webhook response. That means here to receive a webhook response we need to do a test submission. And to do a test submission we need to generate a test response in our cognitive forms. So for that let me take you back to my form. And now here I'm going to enter some dummy data and do a test submission. So here for the first name I'm going to enter the name as dummy. And here you can see the last name as user. Email as dummy at the rate publitudes.com. A random address. Here for the phone number I'm going to change the phone number. And here for the service interested in I'm going to select the service as content creation and blogging. So I have successfully entered all the required details. And now I'm going to click on the submit. And here you can see it says thank you for filling out the form. Your response has been recorded. So now let's go and check out Pabli's workflow. And here you can see we have successfully received response over here where we have received the service interested in phone number. Here you can see the last name, full name, first name scrolling little down. And here you can see some other details as well such as the email address and the street address, state, postal code and some other details as well. So with this we have successfully set up our trigger over here. So once we have received a new entry through our cognitive forms, I want to add the person as a subscriber in my Pabli email marketing tool. So for that, I need to connect my Pabli email marketing with Pabli Connect in this action step given over here. So here I'm going to select my action application as Pabli email marketing tool. So Pabli email marketing is a tool that helps businesses send bulk emails to their subscribers easily. It's known for offering affordable plans with no limits on the number of emails you can send. So here in my Pabli email marketing action step, I'm going to select my action event as add subscribers. So that whenever we're going to receive new entry through our cognitive forms, then automatically the person who has made the form submission is going to be added as a subscriber in our Pabli email marketing tool. And now here to connect my Pabli email marketing with Pabli Connect, here I'm going to click on this connect. Here to build a new connection, I'm going to select our new connection. If your Pabli email marketing account is already connected with Pabli Connect, then you can click on select existing connection. And now here to build a new connection, it is asking me to enter the token. So here following the instructions given below, which says enter your barrier token here to obtain the barrier token. Log in into your Pabli email marketing account, navigate to the integration sections, click on the developer API and copy the barrier token. So these are the instructions, but here you can see we have received the hyperlink of this developer API. 
API went to. So here I'm directly going to click on this. As here I've already logged in my Pabli email marketing account. And here you can see it has directed me to the developer API window of my Pabli email marketing account. And here is the barrier token of my account. So I'm going to copy it. But if you want to regenerate, then you can simply regenerate the token from here. So moving back to my Pabli's workflow and here I'm going to enter the token. So this is the token and now I'm going to click on the save. And here you can see we are now successfully connected. So moving forward and then here it is asking me to select the list name. So here in this list name field, I need to select the name of my list under which I want to add the subscriber. So here let me tell you that I have created a single list in my Pabli email marketing tool with the name default list. So here I'm going to select the list name as default list only. And then here it is asking me to enter the email and the name. So here in this email and name field, I need to enter the email and the name of the person to whom I want to add a subscriber in my Pabli email marketing tool. So now here instead of entering these details manually, here I'm going to map the data. Mapping data means insert data from previous step. That means here I'm going to map the data from the response that I received in my trigger step. Mapping makes the text dynamic so that whenever we are going to receive new entry through our cognitive forms, then automatically this previously existing detail will be updated with the new one. So I'm going to search for my leads email. So this is my leads email, so I'm going to map it and then here it is asking me for the name. So here for the name, I'm going to search for the name. So this is the name of my lead, so I'm going to map it. And now here after entering all the required details, I'm going to click on the save and send test request given over here. And here you can see we have received a successful response where we have received the status as success and the message as list updated successfully. So now let's go and check our Pabli email marketing tool. Here I'm going to refresh it. And here you can see we have successfully added a new subscriber with the email as dummy at the rate pabletoots.com and the name as dummy user. So with this, we have successfully set up our trigger over here. So now let me summarize this whole video for you. So here we have taken our trigger as cognitive forms and our action as Pabli email marketing tool. So that whenever we're going to receive new entry through our cognitive forms, then automatically the person who has made the form submission is going to be added as a subscriber in our Pabli email marketing tool. Okay, so these were the steps to how to create subscriber in Pabli email marketing on cognitive form submission. I hope these steps were clear to you. Now, if you want to use the same workflow, then you can find the clue link in the description box below. I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching. Not only these applications, you can integrate many other applications with Pabli Connect. So now if you have any doubt, then you can email us at support at the rate pabli.com. And if you have any query, then you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, then you can simply visit our website that is www.pabli.com. So now if you liked our video, then please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends.